You've been doing great these days, Eski. Eski. Well, here's a mission number two. And this time the coach will be, ooh, curious, do you want to know? But I'm afraid it's a secret. It's at the same place as last time, Azume License Studio. By the way, have you heard about Anzun, the apparel store in Haruki? Apparently, they have outfits that were used in TV shows and movies too. If you have time, you should take a look. Nothing can start any time, so just come by whenever you feel you're ready. Alright. I'm gonna do that. Anyway, how are you doing, everybody? It's Jonathan B. Game. Welcome back to more Tokyo Marasin Shop Effie Encore. In the last one, we defeated Gangrel and saved Maiko from. The guy whose name I can remember. Anyway, we have something new here. EX Rolling Star. Big brother, big brother. What's up, Tiki? Listen, I found something in the Bloom Palace. Could you come by when you have a moment? Sure thing, I'll stop by later. EX Story is a split into small chapters that take place alongside the game's main and side stories. In addition to showing new scenes from the protagonist's lives and careers, they also allow you to obtain new skills and costumes, so you should pursue them whenever you get a chance. To begin the X story, speak with Tiki at the Bloom Palace. Alright, and I think that's what we're going to be doing mainly today. We could go to Haruku, but I'm going to save that for a little later. Just because, uh, honestly, what we're going to be doing now is very helpful to have. Also, if you haven't noticed from the 12 topics I just got, we have three new side stories available open to us. So it's going to be a little bit before we move on to the next chapter. So let's go ahead and head into the Bloom Palace. And talk to Tiki. うん。あのね、どうかした翼。え今ため息ついてただろ疲れてるんじゃないそんなことはございませんぞ。元気元気。元気すぎて自分でも困るくらいです。ノロいいけど。あのね、お兄ちゃんに夢を聞いたのは。ブルームパレスでの新しい発見に関係のあることなの。イドラスフィアの中で不思議な場所があるのを見つけたんだ。あの扉から行けるんだけど。まだ発見したばかりで詳しいことはわからないんだけど。願いや夢が叶う場所な
ここがチキノ言っていた場所ねもしかしたらこの場所の力に惹かれてミラージュたちが集まってくるかもしれないから気をつけてそれじゃあお兄ちゃん頑張ってねさあ行きましょう。あのキリアさんすみません少しだけ先に進んでてもらってもいいですか俺ちょっと翼と話してから行きます後で追いつきますからええ分かったなら私は先に行っているわうん翼何かあったのかえあどうしてさっきからちょっと様子が変だからなんだかぼんやりしてるっていうか悩み事とかあるんじゃないか<笑>いつきくんにはお見通しだね実は私ね今度お仕事でキリアさんのカバー曲を歌うことになったの。それにしては元気ないねキリアさんの曲を歌えるのはとっても嬉しいよだけどそれだけじゃなくて心配でもあるんだだってずっと憧れてきた人のすっごくかっこいい曲なんだもん私にちゃんと歌えるのかなってずっと不安なのだからどこか元気がなかったんだなごめんなさい内緒にするつもりはなかったんだけどただ少しだけ話しづらくてせっかくのお仕事だしキリアさんの歌歌いたいって気持ちもあるしこの先に答えがあるかもしれないえこの場所に夢を叶える宝箱があるなら。翼の望みを叶える何かが見つかるかもしれないだろうだから先へ進んでみよういつきくんうんそうだねそうかもありがとうなんだか元気が出てきたよさっきまであんなに落ち込んでたのに不思議翼の力になれたのならよかったよ<笑>いつきくんはいつも私を支えてくれてるねこうしてそばにいると私いつの間にか元気になっちゃってるもんさあ一緒に行こう早くキリアさんに追いつかないとオッケー so with that uh right out of the bat I'm probably gonna try not again to do any fights here Simply due to the fact that the enemies here, they're not like strong or anything. They're a little lower than what I am right now. Although, to be fair, we do find an enemy here that I want to take out because I still have a quest in the Adamasphere ship in the Illusory Shibuya that I haven't finished yet because I never found those shamans. So, I should be able to get one now. Take him out. But otherwise, these guys are a little, little lower, so probably just be skipping most of these fights. Uh, although I didn't get that shaman force, so I will probably be fighting the rest of these guys off screen. Anyway, these blue boxes over here, these are new items added to this game. When I say new items, The last admissions has powered by Itsuki and his friends to shave inside the box. Tain Survivor Tail costume, a new form for Itsuki Aoi can take on. Sweet Labyrinth costume, a new form for Supasa Obi can take on. Samurai Justice costume, a new form Toma can take on. And Princess Glory, a new form for Kiria. These items that we just got were actually DLC items in the original game, in the Wii U version. 
There is no DLC here. Instead, all the, all the content in the previous game, including the DLC, is now available through this area. Speaking of DLC, I was going to talk about it at some point, and I feel like now is a good time. This game has received mixed opinions due to the changes that this game has received through um, translation. And DLC is actually as part of doing this. This game was um, against censored in a way when it was brought outside of Japan. On top of that, the Switch version is more or less just a part of the um, the Western release. It is the same regardless. It is the same in Japan as it is here. A lot of people were unhappy with the censorship of this game. So much fact, I've heard many people end up just buying a Japanese Wii U so that you could just buy, play the full version of the game. And the censorship was a little much. Honestly, I do feel like it was a little pointless to do it. But at the same time, I don't think it's that big of a deal. One uh, one downside of the censorship I can... Oh, that's a savage. Oh, that's a savage. I can say something about is that the... One of the things that got... Oh, God. <laughs> that got cut from the game is actually one of the DLCs. There was a costume DLC where you would give everyone the swimsuits. The one big downside I'm upset with that this thing got, this DLC got cut was the DLC also added special conversations between the characters um, in like a hot springs location. I'm more so disappointed about the fact that we missed out on these conversations, more so than I am about the costumes being cut. I know a lot of people were kind of upset about this, and I can kind of understand it. I, I wouldn't recommend buying a Japanese Wii U to just buy the game, but... <laughs> And I know some people were also still upset that the the Switch release was just pretty much the Western version all around. So all the stuff that was removed from the Japanese version is just no longer in the game. But all in all, I still think the game is perfectly enjoyable despite the censorship. Anyway, this box right here, the artistic emissions harbored by Tiki to achieve from the box. In order to open this, you have to have completed Tiki's first side story first. Obtain Magic Fire, a jump in session skill for Tiki. Jump in session skills are a kind of session skill unique to those cast members who don't normally participate in battles, and will attract a character who have joined them in, in, in join in during sessions in battle. The conditions of participating in a session are the same as usual. This is a way to make your mid-battle performances even more rich and riveting. Alright, and with that, Tiki can now join in battle, which is something she did say she wished she could do. So hopefully we'll be able to show that off soon. And I will just hop into this fight. I know I said I cut out most of these fights, but I've been talking through most of them, and now in this fight I want to show something off. So, everything I have said beforehand has been pointless. As you can see there, Tiki will follow up with Magic Fire. Now, let's go ahead and just take you out. All we can miss, I'm not happy about that. Yes. I'm seeing our session count has gone up to four. Oh, I guess three, technically.
But by getting this, this will now let us just build up SP faster. Can I hit this time, Toma? Thank you. And Toma's getting Javelin and Wayne. It is a medium attack on all enemies. I will definitely. I will think. Hmm. I, I don't use Tawagaja that much. I'll be heavily honest. So I think I'll just get rid of that. Playing that carnage. I don't believe I have another carnage for Toma at the moment. With that, we got Malagi stones. Uh, that is one button. I wanted to swap out Tome of Kyria. And I'll just pass on you. Go down here. This should be an item box. Got some performer there. Hello, goodbye. Mm. Mm, yep. So for the most part, you're really just going here for the blue boxes. Of course you will want to go for the other items box, because obviously having items is help helpful, and especially these tagging pipes can be very helpful. Skill book, probably not gonna use that. Hello. I don't think there's any rare enemies here. There are savage enemies, because there's another one. I will go ahead and grab this. Do you have any missions of Itsuki Ali? Took shape within the box. Obtained a rebellious Joker costume, a new form Itsuki could take on. Okay, there's you again. I don't want to deal with you right now. There is an exit right here. I'll activate this. But I believe there's also another item box I missed, so I will have to go grab that. Because I did not go over this way. Yep, there is one asked. Hello, hello, goodbye. Just grab this. Truck apart. Not bad at all. Mm. Can you not? I didn't get the performer I was looking for, right? No, not not wardrobe. Let me look at performer real quick. Did I get the shot? I didn't get shot before. Okay, good. That's all I need to know. And over here, this box is mysterious oil. Oh, what should I do? Obtain key item, Kyria's Choker. これは何だろう。もしかしてこれってキリアさんがデビュー当時につけてたチョーカーだよ。そうね。懐かしいわ。あの頃このチョーカーは私にとって。今しめみたいなものだった。今しめですか？え、ステージ上でファンが求めるクールなキリアとしての自分を演出するための鎖だったのよ。なるほど。それって今の翼に通じるところがあるかもしれないですね。どういうこと？いつきくん。キリアさんだってきっと自分をどう見せるか悩みながらやってきたんだと思うよ。今の翼のように。キリアさんが私のように。そう思うと、なんだか頑張れる気がするかも。もちろん不安はまだいっぱいあるよ。だけど、私もこ
今流れてるのが翼のリインカーネーションすごくクールで聴いてるだけで勇気がもらえるような曲だね<笑>そうそうかなありがとう樹くんあのチョーカーをつけたら自分がキリアさんになったような気がして心配なんてどこかに飛んでいっちゃったのはあキリアさんの曲をカバーできた死ぬ死んじゃうもう死んでもいいかも<笑>落ち着け翼どうですかキリアさん翼のリインカーネーションはそうね自分の歌にもこういう解釈があるんだと思って驚いたわ新しい翼の魅力が引き出せてると思うあああ,ありがとうございますこれも全部あの夢を叶えられる場所のおかげだよそういえばキリアさんの夢って何かあるんですか私の夢翼も気になるよねキリアさんの夢はいなるなりますぜひ聞かせてほしいですごめんなさいすぐには思いつかないわ<笑>さすがキリアさんキリアさんほどになったら夢なんてすぐに掴んじゃいますもんねそうだったらいいわねNext time on Tokyo Murasan Shop FE Encore, we're gonna get started on some of those side stories. We're also gonna look at this real quick. To be on your college EC, it also reminds me that I never got that <laughs> HP fitness、uh, skill for Toma. So I'm gonna have to grab that. Anyway, see you guys next one. Bye.